Hey everyone, welcome to Big Thick Energy and happy 2022. For this year, I wanted to make a video on the top 20 films that are being released that I want to see in this year. And I made a video at the end of last year talking about the top 50 films I saw that year. It did not get a lot of views at all. I think it's because it was 46 minutes long. So this one, I'm just going to zoom through. I'm not going to go too much into detail and it's definitely going to be a power minute. It's going to be power minutes. I don't know exactly how many minutes, but let's do it. So first up at number 20, we have Super Mario Bros. So this movie is going to star Chris Pratt. He has a very strong cast. And even though Chris Pratt is starring, a lot of people are hating on him for it, saying that he can't do the voice. But I say, hey, give him a chance. You don't know until you watch the movie. It looks like it's going to be fun. And it already has a spinoff in the works of Donkey Kong which always when a movie has a spinoff in the works before it's even released, it shows the studio, Illumination, is very confident in that movie. Now, number 19, we have Spider-Man Lotus. So this is going to be a fan-made film for YouTube. And obviously, fan-made films, it doesn't sound like it's going to be anything big. But this one actually seems pretty interesting, where it's going to be about Spider-Man, and it's going to be more dramatic, and it seems like it's going to be very comic accurate. So I'm definitely going to give it a watch, and you can already watch the trailer if you want. Next, number 18, we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Honestly, very disappointed to say this, I haven't seen the first Sonic, but the trailer for the second one looks really good. So I really want to watch the first one, and I really want to watch the second one. I recommend you all watch the trailer. If you're a fan of the games, you should definitely watch this. Number 17, we have Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of the first nor the second, Fantastic Beast movies, especially the second one. I didn't understand half of it. So I'm really hoping that this one can fix it. I think having Dumbledore be such a big piece of the film is going to be very interesting. And I feel like it can tie in better to the Harry Potter films. And I hope it gives us a tease of what we can see in the future for this world. Now, number 16, we have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I was a fan of the first Aquaman movie. Now, I didn't really understand everything that happened in it because I was on a date. So I kind of wasn't focusing, but hey, it was pretty solid. And this one seems like it's gonna be even more fun. So I'm looking forward to this film. Now, number 15, we have Death on the Nile. This is going to be a murder mystery film. It's in the same universe as the murder on the Orient Express. So I'm very interested in it. I like that movie, I like the twist, and I recommend you all watch it or read the Agatha Christie books. And this is just the next step in that universe. So definitely going to watch that. Now, number 14, we have Morbius. So this film is going to take place in the Venom universe. And it seems pretty interesting to me. A lot of people don't seem too interested in it. The only thing that interests people is what Spider-Man universe it's in. And that obviously interests me. I think it's Andrew Garfield's universe, but we'll see soon enough. And a lot of people aren't interested because they keep on delaying it. But they also say it's not an interesting plot. And I think it looks pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. Now, number 13, we have Lightyear. This is the new film in the Toy Story universe, maybe the Pixar universe, who knows if it's all connected or not, who knows? And pretty much it's gonna tell the story of who Buzz Lightyear actually is. And it seems like a pretty cool movie. It seems very inspired by Star Trek to me. So I'll check it out. Now, number 12, we have Jurassic World Dominion. This is the end of the Jurassic World franchise. And while a lot of people didn't like the last Jurassic World film, I thought it was pretty interesting. I thought the first one was pretty interesting. I like the Jurassic Park films. So I'm definitely going to check this one out. And the end of the last one made me very curious to see how they end the trilogy. Now, number 11, we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Now, sadly, this one could have been higher on the list because I really liked the first one. But sadly, with the loss of Chadwick Boseman, it's going to hurt this film. There's been a ton of delays. But I'm still really excited for this film, and I'm very curious to see what they do with Letitia Wright and whoever is going to be in the next Black Panther. Number 10, we have Halloween Ends. So this movie is going to be the combination of a quadrology of Halloween 1978, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and now finally Halloween Ends. I recommend you guys all watch those first three films. I thought they were all fantastic, and they all work really well together, and I'm really looking forward to this one which is something I thought I would never say because I'm not a huge fan of horror films, even though I consider this to be more of a thriller. Next up, number nine, we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Now, I expected this one to be a little bit higher, but I just thought a lot of the other films on this list interest me a bit more. 
I love all of them. I think this one is going to be amazing and I'm trying to go see it on opening day. But there's just something about this film that I feel like it's not going to have the same magic as the first one for some reason, but I'm still extremely excited for it. Now, number eight, we have Black Adam. This movie is going to star The Rock as Black Adam. It's a movie that's been in the works for a very long time. And they've been teasing that Black Adam may eventually fight against Superman one of these days. So if they tease this in this movie and maybe they show Henry Cavill Superman, I'm praying that they do, that would be incredible. Now, number seven, we have Knives Out 2. I love the first Knives Out movie. It's another murder mystery movie on this list. And I really hope that it's good. I love the first one, and I recommend you all watch it. It's on Netflix right now, the first one. Number six, we have Thor Love and Thunder. So this is the fourth Thor movie, and honestly, I didn't like the first two Thor movies, but Thor Ragnarok, I absolutely loved. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. So since this one's also from Taika Waititi, I think it's going to be incredible. I'm not a big fan of the costume leaks that we've seen, but I think it'll be a really good film. Now, number five, we have Nope. This is the third film from Jordan Peele in the thriller genre, where the first one was Get Out and the second one was Us. I loved both movies. Honestly, as I'm making this video, I saw Us on that exact day today. So I really think that this is going to be an incredible movie and I can't wait to see it. Next up, number four, we have The Flash. So this movie is going to set up the future of the DCEU by making Flash travel across the multiverse. He's gonna meet Michael Keaton's Batman, a random version of Supergirl. So who knows what's happening? I have no idea. I'm really excited. So I really wanna watch this movie. Next, number three, we have Avatar 2. So I was a huge fan of the first Avatar movie. A lot of people say that it was overrated. And look, yes, it made a lot of money, but there's a certain point when so many people call something overrated that becomes underrated. And I think that's what's happened to this film. And I really hope people go out to the theaters to watch it because it is planning to have four sequels. And for a movie to have that many sequels planned, there's going to be a very clear path of what wants to be done. And I trust in James Cameron to do it. Next up, number two, we have Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So obviously this movie, it recently got a trailer and it's going to follow the events of Spider-Man, No Way Home, and WandaVision, and Loki. So I think it's going to be a great film. It looks like it's gonna be really cool. It's directed by Sam Raimi, the guy from the original Spider-Man trilogy. So who knows what happens? We just know that there's gonna be a ton of cameos and I can't wait to see who we see in this film. Probably spider mans again, and probably the X-Men in some way, and Fantastic Four. Next up, number one, we have The Batman. So this movie I've been hyped for for so long. It looks incredible with every single trailer. And I really can't wait to see what they do with it. And like I mentioned with Super Mario Bros. with the Donkey Kong spinoff, this one already has two shows in the works that are spinoffs. So I think they have so much trust in this director, in Matt Reeves, who did the Planet of the Apes trilogy. I love that trilogy. And I think it's crazy that somebody could make a trilogy of movies of apes taking over the world actually work somehow. And he did it. So I really want to see what he does with the Batman and how it creates its own cinematic universe. So I'm really looking forward to this film. There's a ton of other films this year that I'm excited for, like Turning Red, The Bad Guys, Mission Impossible 7, Scream, which actually recently came out. So while this list does not include those, just know all of the movies on this list I'm extremely excited for, and even some of them that aren't on this list I'm excited for. So I hope you like this list. And I can't wait to talk with you guys about these movies after they come out. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time on Big Flick Energy.